Uh, 40 state attorneys general are expected to announce an investigation into the mortgage servicing industry. This comes as mortgage service companies have been documents in thousands of foreclosure proceedings all across the country. Now some on Capitol Hill are calling for a moratorium on all all documentation issue is resolved. Will this help? John Tamney is the editor of Real Clear Markets. Nancy Skinner. And Charlie Gasparino, aside from being the greatest business reporter in the world, is my friend and my, colleagues, uh, my colleague on the Fox Business Network. He's also the author of, you can see it right there, Bought and Paid For, The Unholy Alliance Between Barack Obama and to you first. Democrats in Congress, even the president resisted them, wanted some sort of a national moratorium for mortgage foreclosures, a law that the Congress would enact which would tell state courts, thou shalt not hear these mortgage foreclosure cases until we tell you to. Do you go along with that? You know, I do, uh, Judge, because if banks are actually, as we have evidence now, I don't think it has to be long-term, a very short-term moratorium. But if they are foreclosing fraudulently on my neighbor, then the value of we have this downward spiral in the housing market. So we already have knowledge that, that some of the Bank of America and others signing 8,000 foreclosures without what the business is it of the federal government is criminal. It's criminal. But, but, the, so but the it's not a federal government Nancy, should Nancy, stop. these are these are state cases in. And the Supreme Court has already ruled that the Congress can't tell the state court systems how to operate. Isn't this just a political ploy whereby the Democrats want to make people think they're doing something for them, which they know or ought to know is patently unconstitutional? If the, if the federal government is trying to revive this economy and these banks are doing cr taking criminal action to hurt the economy, it is the duty of the government uh, to, to go after those uh, banks and John stop fraudulent and to the economy. Big picture, if all mortgage foreclosures are stopped, even the good ones, even the ones where we have the proper documentation. Well, I mean, I think first off, what it's going to mean is that housing can't reach its natural level. And that's essential so that we need this market signal telling investors to stop putting money into housing and get it into productive assets. Well, let's be honest, this should not surprise us. Well, but when the banks were bailed out, and they should not have been, basically they were bought and paid for by Washington, and Washington is coming back to get what it wants from them. We're essentially working for political masters that don't care about profits, and now with elections coming up, is it any surprise that, that Congress is coming back and saying it's kind of a crucial time for us? All right, uh, Charlie, on the front cover of this book, Bought and Paid For, the unholy alliance between Barack Obama and Wall Street. You have pictures of the president in front of the White House with pigs. Who are the pigs? Well, the pigs are the heads of these banks. And I'll tell you, John was exactly right. Listen, this is a BS scandal. People are not being thrown out of their homes for any other reason than, you know, some guy didn't dot an I or cross a T. I mean, we don't have, people can't afford their homes. That's why they're leaving. Right. They're foreclosing on. But what John said is absolutely right, and it was the point of bought and paid for, is that there is this unholy alliance, and, you know, once you get bailed out by the federal government, you are wards of the federal government, and every now and then, you're going to have to be part of a political ploy. All right, tell me if my scenario is, is right, Charlie, and I'm basing it on a historical example. If people know that they won't be foreclosed on their homes. They may just stop paying their mortgages. What will happen to the banks that require and expect those billions of dollars to come in every month? Well, what the banks want to do now is foreclose on those homes so they can sell them to people that can afford them. What this process is doing is preventing the sort of price discovery that needs to be done in the market so we know where mortgages, where housing should be priced at. But th there is a big picture is how they're in bed together. I mean, listen, the Wall Street firms, I will tell you, because I've been, we've been breaking stories on Fox Business Network all day about this, that tomorrow right. they're going to announce this sort of big-time investigation, and that they're joining this moratorium. But the bigger picture is they're in bed together. They know that this is the price of doing business with government. Does Wall Street like well, this president, wait, 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 Nancy? Judge, hang on, hang judge. on. Does Wall Street like this president the way Charlie claims they do? 
Well, uh, you know, I think they they like this president because he stabilized the economy under uh, oh, meltdown. And he, and he helped them make we billions of dollars in bonuses, Nancy. Billions. Look he, at the Wall you know Street what, Journal you, you today. Right. And, billions and I, of bonuses and I, just I, a minute absolutely. after the financial collapse. And here's the problem. And here's the problem with that. We bailed out those banks because they told us our entire economy was going to melt down. And now 50 percent of the revenues of banks are going out. Why in did Barack Obama keep? Well, here's the question deductible. I ask you. Why did that the president? Needs to be changed. Why did this president keep the bailout? mechanisms in place for two years every time he calls him a fat cat it's shame on him as my book points out because he made them fat nancy you don't give a money you don't put this money out there tarp was a bush initiated project and there was how about the low interest rates how about all the guarantees on debt nancy both how about everything parties, else both parties are to blame here nancy two trillion has been spent since the beginning of TARP, about $750 billion under Bush and the remainder under President Obama. You can't point a finger at but, one of the two parties. Neither of them understands how the economy works because unemployment is just as bad now as it was before they right, started to spend right. the $2 trillion. So the and whole theory is, the whole theory, Judge, just let me finish. If, if you are paying 50% of your bank's revenues out in compensation, $100 million bonuses, tax deductible, and not lending it to Nancy, people so that they Nancy, can start hang on, businesses, hang on, hang on, Charlie, and that's a problem. John Tamney, the Wall Street bonuses, they were enormous. It is, it is projected that Wall Street will earn a profit in 2010 of $450 billion. Do the folks who got those enormous bonuses deserve them? And if they do, what does it tell us about the economy? Um, I, I think they deserve them. I think Wall Street should be able to play, pay its employees as much as it possibly can. I am for profits. But here lies the problem, once again, with being in bail out money you get the good with the bad you get a washington that's going to react very negatively to these guys doing well but let's think about the other team to love profits but in this scenario what if they didn't pay them the proper wages they would all leave the but, banks and but, the banks but would john, be even john here's the problem here's the problem it's not just tarp there's guarantees and benefits that this administration has heaped on wall street they are not making money the good old-fashioned capital Listen, my book points it out, the hook, line, and sinker. You will see, if you read this book, just how many ways they made money out of this administration. Obamanomics, you had Winner Street, 10% unemployment. The winners is Wall, uh, Wall Street, $140 Nancy, billion. Dollars. Nancy Skinner, does the federal government have any business telling Wall bonuses it can pay to its executives when they make a profit? Who stated differently? Yes. Who yes. knows more about salaries, yeah. the federal government or the people that because they are tax deductible expenses and that means that so if they're going to get away with a big tax liability by just giving them paying their fair share the middle class and working people have to make up that money to provide the services the general welfare of the constitution judge uh, uh, therefore it should be limited right, uh, in some right. respects all right sw <laughs> switching uh, switching gears today the federal government announced not by Judge Martin Feldman of the United States District Court in, uh, in New Orleans, which had told them that they could not impose a moratorium. Today, what is that going to do, John? Will drilling resume, or are those drillers gone to somewhere else by now? I imagine they've gone to risk drilling right now because you saw what happened with BP. Basically, we had a government that tried to put BP out of business all all you would want to drill is in a place where success is basically penalized. Um, if, if you do make a mistake, you could be in trouble. So go elsewhere. There, there, we're, we're you know, the Charlie, the true libertarians believe that the earth underneath the water should be privately owned just like other earth I, is. I agree. And then an insurance... But, but, you, but you have to realize that the environmental laws prevent you from drilling in safer areas. You have to... Your liability goes up dramatically. Hey, That's Nancy, why where's the federal Judge. government's deed? Where's the deed the federal government has to prove that it owns all the earth? Well, I got to agree with John. The reason they're not, they, <laughs> they might not want to drill here in the United States is we have 3% of oil reserves. But the, but the idea that, that somehow that this moratorium to make sure that people's, another libertarian concept, if that be they damaged the livelihoods of so many thousands right, we, of people. We, that you're right. We so can argue VP all day. Got to go. Charlie Gasparino.
Pleasure. Thank you very much. Next, Glenn on the 40-day, 40 40-night 40 challenge. And don't miss tomorrow. Glenn will be live.